Hi everyone, this is Kim and thanks for coming to my channel. I appreciate it and thumbs up. Um, tonight I'm going to show you a new little project that I've seen online and um, I just fell right in love with these. I want to show you a little bit of one that I have uh, perked that I've gotten done. Um, it is a styrofoam pumpkin and I did some collage on it. It is amazing. It is so pretty. I've done a couple of you to show you. I'll show you more about them tonight. And they are so pretty and so simple to make. So we hope to see you there and definitely thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks a lot. All right, guys, now I'm going to start um, doing a little bit of collaging to the pumpkins. These are a couple that I've done. It's so pretty. It's the first time I've ever done it before. It's a little bit of the foam um, pumpkins that I got from the dollar store. This one I got elsewhere. I can't remember exactly where. This was the first one I did. I haven't glued this on yet. I might put a... Um, a uh, piece of wood for a stem. I'm not sure if I like that, but this was my first one. So um, it's really pretty, not perfect, but I like it. And this one here is another one. So right now I got three more of these. So I'm gonna show you one of them. Um, they're a lot of fun to do. So this one I haven't done before. I'm using napkins. I got some from Actually, $1.99 for any of these from the um, Christmas tree, actually. And this, I thought, was so pretty. That's on the small one right now. This is the smaller one here. Very pretty. And then I got this one also. And this is the one that is on here. So this is the one I'm going to try to do today on one of these. So I'm going to open this right up. And... I'm going to, I got my Mod Podge glue, if I can actually open this package, get the plastic off, I'm getting low on that, but I almost think that Elmer's glue would do the same thing, I'm not sure, but I don't see why not, water base, right? So let's get a couple of these taken out. It shouldn't take much. And let's make this uh, the thinnest. So we've got a good size piece. So I'm gonna try to peel it so it's thinner. And the pumpkin is quite small, so I've seen people doing it all in um, just cut pieces, strips, and glue on. It's hard to do your pattern perfect if you want to, to make it look really nice. So that would be a way. Or also, um, people put them over top of the top of the where the stem is. So that's another way to do it. Um, so right now, if I can peel it, there we go. So it's a lot thinner. So we're going to get rid of the smaller piece and let's look and see what we're going to do with this one. We can just put this right over the top of it. See, actually that will be really pretty, just that piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this right in half. Okay. And the border we definitely don't need. So I'm going to cut that off. And I'm going to try it this way that I have seen someone else do. I don't know if it's going to work for me, but we'll see. Okay, let's get the glue ready. And the, where's the brush we're going to use? The brush I'm just going to use is uh, an old paintbrush I've got. If I can find the one I want. Not that one. Um... I guess this right here will work. Okay, just a simple paintbrush. We can get them from a uh, real deal or a dollar store, real cheap. So anyway, we're gonna paint this right on here. I'm gonna try to paint it all the way around on the top. If you can hear anything, uh, it's my little dog whining. We just came back from our daily walk. She absolutely loves it. 
our little peanut, our little chihuahua girl. Okay, so that is halfway down. So now this is going to go right in the very center where the hole is going to be, just like that. And I'm just going to brush this down. And definitely with the pumpkin, just put your seals down in. Ooh, this is going to be pretty. I like it. It's very naturally look. And uh, quite pretty. So now I'm going to just... Um, Do a little bit more paint glue in here. Hope everybody can see me, what I'm doing. And what we're going to do is just try to overlap if we have to. It shouldn't have a problem. So we're going to push this right down. This is very thin. You do not want to put glue on top of it. I have learned that already on this big one. That it will tear the paper so easy. See, just like that with my thumb. What a bummer. So I'm just trying to, it's so thin, so, so thin. Pretty, isn't it pretty though? I'm gonna be able to put up another piece over top of that. So this right here, I'm just gonna cut it right off and try to glue it right on. What's the matter, Peanut? Mommy's trying to do a little show and she's wants to go downstairs or something. I'm up in my craft room okay so anyway this is so quick is that quick or what you guys it is really cute and this one didn't have um, a stem on it because of the um, it had flowers on top of it but this isn't even glued on there but it can be something like that but see how simple this is you guys you gotta let it set and you gotta let it dr dry and when you're done, you can just spray with clear. Isn't that cute? It's so simple to do, you guys. Enjoy it. Try it. And please subscribe and put thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Thanks a lot, you guys. Watch for more. Okay, I thought I'd do this one a little bit different with the strips. And to do that pattern, um, which is this one here. So I kind of sliced them up and got the glue ready for some stems. So let's do this one, see how it turns out. So what we're gonna do is start it in the little strips, right down the center like that. So that's like two or three pieces. So, and I'm gonna start right here at the beginning Put it right in there and just wipe it down. Ooh, this might be an easier way. And I also did see on um, YouTube, I believe, that uh, it's doing in strips like this with fabric. So I probably will end up trying that because when I see something that looks really cool to me, I usually try it. I'm definitely a craft person and here's that stem now we're gonna get the next one this is really cool so boy this is looks like it's a lot easier you don't have as much um oops <laughs> I'm sorry Miss Peanut is sitting on my table because she loves to look out the window she knows she's not supposed to bark no bark that's why she is uh, Giving them her, her a little opinion, I guess. Kids running by. Unfortunately, she likes to uh, do her talk. She's already had her little uh, walkie tonight. So, and she just loves it. She just loves doing it. Well, we already did our walkie tonight. Mommy came home from work, and then we went on our walk. Because she's in her little, uh, she has her bed crate. Plus, it has a playpen that's attached to it. So, she has her little spacey until she sees her daddy that comes home at lunch break or after his first run or whatever. Uh, and I go to work at 6.30 in the morning and I am there until 4 or 5 o'clock. So, it's a long day. 
up. I like my job. Been there for a while now. And uh, hopefully I can stay there till I can retire. We'll see. Look at that. Isn't that cool how that's going right on? I'm liking this. Get some more glue on it. You don't need a lot of glue either. This one. This one is a fake one. And there is more this one right here, and I think I'm gonna put that piece right there. Yep, this is really cute. It's going to be a nice fall little piece. This is starting to get, I don't want to overdo it here because they tear so, so easy. And these napkins are so thin. Oh, see, I'm sticking, up, sticking on it now. Maybe I put too much. Do you guys think I do? Tell me about it. Because I... I've just done this like for the first time as this few little pumpkins. So I'm just gonna try to rub it down. Give it a brush a little bit. Just try to be careful of it. Then I should have like one more piece for the top right here. Look at that. It's very careful to very fragile doing this, guys. Look at that. Okay. piece right here would go good. One more little piece. I usually have a stick in this when I'm doing this and I didn't. So we'll get this last piece in and go from there. 